In this video, I'll walk you through how the enhanced event logging in Windows Server 2016 can be used in conjunction with SIEM systems such as Microsoft's Operations Management Suite, aka OMS, to provide near real-time and actionable intelligence across thousands of servers. OMS is able to do this based on auditing or event data that might otherwise be ignored or even treated as normal background noise. So to kick things off then, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a free OMS account from Microsoft.com slash OMS. In the OMS portal, I'll go to the Solutions Gallery, where I'll add a new security and audit solution. This particular feature allows me to connect all audit and security artifacts from computers that have been onboarded to OMS. For this demo, I've already added the server that we're monitoring to OMS by simply installing the Microsoft Monitoring Agent on the server and pointing it to the OMS account that I just created. Next, I've got this PowerShell script here that simulates the steps that an attacker might follow. In this particular case, let's say the attacker has managed to obtain some credentials and is using them to remotely access other Windows machines in an effort to enumerate yet more accounts and get a list of the administrators across all of those servers. This is a pretty common step used by attackers as part of a lateral movement attack where a regular domain account has been compromised and it's being used to yet further map out the additional assets on the network. So we know that I'm running my attack simulation script. This particular script will cause the enhanced logging in server 2016 to emit an event whose ID is 16965. This new event indicates that a remote call to enumerate the Security Accounts Manager database, otherwise known as the SAM database, has been denied. Now the recent improvements in Server 2016 not only caused the server to deny the request, but also to provide administrators with insight into the ongoing attack, because each of these now failed attempts to enumerate the SAM database are audited. So let me show you how I can raise awareness to this attack in the OMS portal. I'll start by opening Log Analytics and I'll type a simple query, where event ID equals 16965. You can immediately see that OMS returned all occurrences of these events across all monitored servers. From here, I can easily identify one, the presumably compromised user account with which the attack was initiated, and two, the IP addresses from which it was initiated. That data is incredibly useful since I now know both the compromised user account as well as the compromised machine or machines on which the attack is being executed. I can also save this search query and visualize it in the dashboard view. To do that, I simply click Save and provide a friendly name. From there, I open my dashboard, drag and drop the query onto the dashboard, and finally select my preferred visualization type. I can also set up an alert so that it will notify me by email or even by creating a ticket in a third-party ticketing system whenever a future attempt like this is detected. As you can see then from what is only one of many security related improvements in Windows Server 2016, environments are made more secure by first and foremost blocking attack vectors such as the one we demonstrated, but by also enabling rapid detection through Windows Server 2016's enhanced auditing functionality. In conjunction with Microsoft OMS, you're now able to visualize a near real-time snapshot that alerts you to activities that might otherwise be ignored or treated as normal background noise.